Hi, it's Mike Shaheen with HHO Connection. Today I'm going to do a review of the Punch HHO Slimline 5.0 uh, dry cell. I'm really excited to be able to show you this. I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting to test one of these cells for quite a while because um, it's, it's very unique. It's unlike just about any other dry cell that you've seen out there. This is a cell right here. If you, first thing you're going to notice, this is why they call it the Slimline 5.0. Look at this. The whole cell is no more than one and a half inches wide at the very thickest point. That's the bolts. Other than that, it's, it's, it's really, I mean, practically an inch wide. Um, it's the thinnest thing that I've seen out there on the market right now, which really makes it handy if you're working with really tight spaces and you're trying to figure out where you're going to mount the thing, whether it's for a torch, whether it's for a car, whatever. If you're, if you, if, if you're limited on space, this is really going to come in handy for you. Now, another thing that's unique about this one is you actually connect straight to the outer plates. If you notice, I have my, po my positive is connected to this plate and the negative is connected to the outside of the, of the plate behind it. And then you have four neutral plates inside this compartment in the middle. Now, the reason um, this cell is so efficient, that's one of the things that they tout about is how efficient it is, there are no holes going through the, the plates. Normally, you have holes for the water to circulate between your neutral plates, but in this one, there's basically inside this compartment, there's gaskets sealing all the way around the edges except for a tiny little area here where the fittings are going in, where the, where the water comes in through this fitting and goes out through this fitting. So there's almost no current leakage to the cell, a, a very, very efficient design. Now, some of you might be concerned the fact that you've got a positive connector going to your power plate on the outside worrying about getting shocked. This is just a demo um, cell that I had Tom over at Punch send me. This is not the way they ship. When you're going to get yours, you're going to have a plastic PVC plate that's going to go in the front of here that's going to protect this from ever being touched. Again, this is just a demo cell that Tom sent me to do some basic testing on. Um, one more thing that I really just love about this cell, and now this cell's been running for hours now, but you'll notice that you'll see a little foam in there, but that's actually not much at all. Um, when I first fired the cell up, normally I'll just get a ton of foam, probably because of the new gaskets in a cell and the new hoses you're running. But in this one, I was noticing almost none whatsoever. Um, again, the, the cell's been running for many hours now. It's heated up. So I am seeing a little bit of foam going in here, but it's not even enough to build up in the reservoir. So that's another really good thing that I like about this cell. Um, overall, it's just a very, very slick design. Kudos to Tom over at Punch HHO for coming up with this. Um, let's fire it up now and I'll show you what kind of efficiency you can get out of it. Okay, I'm going to do a couple quick liter per minute tests here. The first one that I want to do is going to be at 14 volts and 15 amps. Now, the reason I chose those numbers is there's been a few people online question as to whether or not the Punch 5.0 cell can actually do a liter a minute of gas at 15 amps and 14 volts. So let's see. As you can see right here, I'm at 13.99, pretty much 14 volts. The um, power supply that I've got over here, you can see it's pretty much exactly 15 amps, maybe even just a, a hair shy closer to 14 and a half, 14, somewhere in that range. Cell temperature, we're looking at about, right now, I'm at 111 degrees, probably about as warm as I want it to get. Let that light go off and you'll see that. There it is. Okay, so I've got my handy uh, HHO measuring device here, my stopwatch. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Looking pretty good so far. Now this is a half liter bottle. So in theory, for a liter a minute, we're going to be filling this bottle up in about 30 seconds. And time. I don't know about you, 31 seconds is pretty darn close to me. So. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Punch 5.0 will do one liter a minute of gas at 14 volts and at 15 amps. Now, that's not, uh, that's not as, as efficient as this cell will run. As I'm about to show you, it actually runs more efficient at a lower voltage. Let's do a 12 volt run and see what it does. So we've done a test at 14 volts. I'm going to do another quick test at 12 just to show you the difference in efficiency. Cell actually runs more efficient at 12 volts. Now, what I'm saying, what I mean by more efficient is you're going to get more gas for the amount of power that you're putting in. We're not going to get more gas out of it right now than we did at 14, but our amps have gone down quite a bit. If you look now, I'm using the same electrolytes, heated up a little bit because the cell's been running a while. 
but I'm running 12 volts and I'm running 8 amps on the power supply. Again, it's the same electrolyte, it's just the amps have gone down because I've lowered the voltage. Okay, so we've got the same half liter bottle. It's going to take a little while for this thing to fill up, so bear with me here. But here goes the test. Okay, we're up to 30 seconds now. And time. So I got 54 seconds on the clock. Check the temperature one more time. Looking at 118 degrees on the temperature. Probably about as hot as you want to let the cell get. Let's let that light go off so you can see that. There you go, 118 degrees. So 12 volts, 8 amps. Um, what would that be? Just, just over half a liter a minute. Uh, that's some really good numbers. As you can see, this is one very efficient little cell, especially at 12 volts. Good job, Tom over at Punch HHO. Well, there you go. That's the Punch HHO. Slimline 5.0 dry cell. Like I said, it's a great little unit, and if you need to expand it, if you decide you need more gas, you need a bigger cell, all you got to do is buy more cells and put them in a stack. Just put longer bolts on here, and you can actually just bolt it into one cell, make it as big as you need. I'm proud to say that we are representing Punch HHO on our site. He is one of the vendors that we have, and in addition to the 5.0 Slimline, there's also a home unit. It's a massive monster. It's 67 plates and it plugs right into the AC on your wall. You can hook a Variac up to it and you can get over 10 liters a minute out of this thing. It's a monster. Okay? So if, you need to, if, if you're looking for something along the lines of doing um, experiments with heaters or torches or things like that, that'd probably be a good way to go with that unit. Again, HHO Connection is proud to represent Punch HHO. Uh, if you'd like to order one, go to my website and check it out. Thanks a lot.